Hey everyone, welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. Today's another history video. Timeline, like the series I've done on John Mayer's amps, delay pedal history, and overdrive history. Today though, we're gonna be talking about chorus, and because chorus is relatively new for John and his gear, this is gonna be a rather quick episode. So let's get right on into it, you guys. So to start our timeline off, we're going relatively recently to 2017 and the Search for Everything World Tour. John's course of choice for this era was the full-tone TREC rack unit, that 80s chorus, and that's a really high-end, beautiful rack unit chorus, and he used that in the racks with the Brocassi reverbs as well, and that was his main source of chorus for the tour, of course, Helpless really being the main song that chorus was featured on. It's worth noting as well during that era that John did have the Strymon Mobius on his pedal board, on the wet pedal board, but we don't know exactly what he was running out of the Mobius because of course through the Bradshaw rig and with MIDI, we don't really know exactly what was going on, but it's possible that he was experimenting with some chorus effects through the Mobius as well during the tour. This brings us on to the 2019 World Tour, and this is where Chorus for John really started to explode. It's not because of 2021 and Saw Rock, it's actually 2019 where Chorus really became a part of John's sound. To start off the 2019 World Tour, John experimented with three Chorus pedals on his pedal board. He had the Boss CE2 that was blacked out. Yes, the Boss CE2 was on the very first show, the very first leg of the 2019 World Tour. No, it's not really new for Saw Rock. It's a pedal he's been using for a while now. He had that in what was called a Chorus Drive Loop with the Blackstone MOSFET Overdrive pedal. And that was a very specific lead overdriven chorusy sound that it was used for. The CE2 wasn't used on its own for that tour. On his pedal board during that time as well, John had a Chase Bliss Warped Vinyl Hi-Fi chorus on his pedal board. That again was mainly used for a chorus effect when he wasn't using the chorus drive loop. So we had two kind of options as well in signal chain position as well, they were different. So you had two different kind of flavors, one for more of a lead tone, one for when you want to clean or just a different kind of flavor of chorus. Lastly, as I said, there are three chorus pedals on his 2019 World Tour pedal board. There was a new neighbor Inspire, the old version, not the newer one. Now that doesn't really matter what version, but just pointing out it was the very first version of that pedal. Now this pedal wasn't exactly doing a chorus effect. It was set for more of a pseudo Leslie rotary style effect, you know, for love is a verb. That's what he would use on it. So it was kind of doing that almost Joe Bonamassa thing like a lot of other artists do where you have a chorus that's actually emulating rotary, you know, the Leslie effect. So that's what the new neighbor Inspire was doing. Technically chorus on his board, but doing rotary. Moving into the North American leg of the 2019 World Tour, the second leg, the chorus drive loop was actually dropped. And so John stuck with having the Chase Bliss Warp Final Hi-Fi and the New Neighbor Inspire on his pedal board. It's also worth noting that the New Neighbor Inspire's purpose might have changed because John started using that Leslie pedal box, which I do believe in theorize was running a Leslie 122 off stage that was mic'd up. So he could have had two different chorus effects going on. One more maybe towards Leslie with the New Neighbor Inspire still, or maybe even like a tri-chorus and then the Chase Bliss Audio Warp Final Hi-Fi doing a more traditional kind of chorusy sound. We don't really know, but he kept those two on his pedal board for the second leg. One thing to point out with the 2019 World Tour is this is where John started to black out a lot of his pedals. The Tona Recall Red Knob Mod as well as the Warp Final Hi-Fi were both blacked out to the point that they looked identical. And at this point, you know, we don't really know exactly when he was swapping them in and out and if he was. The only really time we can know what for sure the pedal was is if you see any footage of him stepping on it and engaging it and noticing what happens to his tone. So that's a disclaimer that I believe the Warp Final Hi-Fi stuck on for most of the time, but the tonal recall could have been swapped in and out because the signal chain positioning doesn't really matter. You could put either one of them in and it would have worked. So do keep that in mind that we don't know for absolute certainty what pedal was on at what time unless you actually see what John was stepping on. This now brings us to the end of the 2019 World Tour and the third leg, the European leg. And John again stuck with the Warp Final Hi-Fi as well as the new neighbor Inspire, but then he also added in the Free the Tone Try Avatar course. And we believe this was on October 10th in Amsterdam. It was the very first time, at least that I've been able to research and find that the Free the Tone Try Avatar was used. This quickly became John's go-to course of choice for the rest of the tour. There wasn't that many shows left, but he consistently used the Free the Tone the most for the remaining shows. So at this point during the 2019 World Tour, it pretty much seems like there was at least 
two, if not three chorus pedals on John's pedal board the whole time. Again, like I mentioned, I do believe they were all serving kind of different purposes. One doing like a tri-chorus at one point, maybe one kind of doing something borderline Leslie if he didn't feel like using the real Leslie. It's kind of cool that John was really experimenting with chorus and his love for chorus, I do believe really started off in the 2019 world tour during that era. And he really realized that, you know what, to thicken up my lead tone on these big outro solos, chorus subtly works really well and I'm really liking it. And that did bleed on into what we now have with Saw Brock. So of course, after the 2019 World Tour, we have really the Grammys is the next time we see Chorus, and that again was that blacked out Boss CE2. Of course, moving into Saw Brock and the pedal boards that John used for all his late night TV show appearances, the Boss CE2 was present on that pedal board. And again, John did actually confirm this in the session IG Lives, you know, Christian James Hands breakdown of Last Train Home that the CE2 was actually what was used for Last Train Home. So that's pretty cool that John confirmed that as well, even though we already knew it is a Boss CE2. And you guys, that's really all we have for Chorus. I just thought it'd be fun because it's a effect with John that we're really talking about right now in 2021, and there's a brief history with it. It's not quite as vast as you might think, but for other people as well, you might learn that John actually really was experimenting with Chorus before this era even began. So you guys, that was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, ring that bell button notification, leave a comment down below your favorite chorus pedal that John's ever used, if you've tried any of them or if you hope he tries something else. I know me personally, he has a vintage way huge blue hippo and man, come on John, give it a try. I'd love to see it one time on one pedal board because that is one of my holy grail pedals that I hope to have one day and it's a wicked pedal. I have the MK2 which is circuit-wise the exact same almost with no old NOS parts, but I really hope John would break out that old vintage way huge pedal because he's got it. Come on, John, do it. You guys, thank you as always so, so much for watching and we'll see you next time.